as important as as these stories are, um, sometimes if they're told incorrectly, they, you know, they're, they're dusty. <laughs> you know, I have some experience with uh, stories about historical figures. So I also know the power of you know when a when a real writer when a creator breathes. Uh, life into them, rebreathes life into them. Obviously, you know they had life in them at one point. So um, I just I thought that Casey had done that so well. It was a it was a beautiful script and um, still honored the people that it was about. I'm excited to re-inject these people into the into modern conversations, you know, to talk about these people with kids and with young people to give them a um, um, an image to, to hold on to and, um, you know, uh, a connection to their legacy as Americans. You know, not just African Americans, but as Americans, you know, this is, this is, you know, uh, a great shame and uh, you know, great atrocity done in this country that we are still reeling from. So um, to to tell the story at this time feels right, as right as ever. The network was the was the Underground Railroad. You know, William Still was part architect of that of that network of people, um, of allies. You know, of people who looked like him, people who didn't look like him. You know, they you they really couldn't have done that thing alone. And so this is also um, a movie about what it means to be an ally and what that. Um, wh wh what it means to to risk for your for your for your fellow man for your fellow woman on stage having come from the theater um, I, I use my imagine my imagination quite a bit you know um, I have a lot of practice doing that and on a film set I remember you know the first couple films I did I'm like oh you really don't have to use your imagination much you know it's it's like the closest thing to time travel that you can that you can get you know people are there's there's a lot of really talented award winning artists in their own right who are there to make sure that you have the exact right wardrobe that is the exact right pen pair of glasses briefcase shoes you know uh, desk, couch, you know, all those things. I was so excited to work with her because I'm also a fan of her as an actress. And so she's also there at the right time with the right note, you know. It's playful and it's, um, it's just on point. It's spot on. When you work with a, when you work with a great actor, man, or, or a director that has great actor instincts, it's helpful. It's about understanding who you are. What that means to me is different than what that means to you, is different than what that means to you. Um, but this is a part, this woman's story is a part of who we are as Americans. And uh, I hope people go see it in droves. I hope that it um, leads to a lot of interesting conversation. And I hope that it continues our healing process, aids in our healing process. Now to accurately portray John Coffey, the convicted killer charged with brutally murdering two little girls in the emotionally charged The Green Mile, actor Michael Clark Duncan would recall childhood memories of his father abandoning him to help power him with the raw emotion he needed. Some of the heavier scenes.